implied free will theory and that free will does exist. Yeah, in short, my opinion on free will is that it doesn't exist because it is defined. You can only break a rule because the rule exists. You only have free will because it doesn't exist. Can you feel the vibes? The vibes are back. We're not even 72 hours in, so I'm recording the Reading Ramble today. But the vibes feel like they're back. Welcome to the January 2023 Reading Ramble, recorded on January 31st. Will the vibes be around tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, will they be around next week? I don't know, but they are around now. So we're gonna go through some things, but um, long story short, I only finished one book this month. One thing I'm gonna start doing with these reading rambles is, is promise that one book finishing and just kind of go over what I'm reading and why why I'm reading it, I guess. On my little document, Works of Love, still on there. Seneca, still on there. Steppenwolf, still on there. Have I read any of them this month? Maybe a little bit. The one book that I have finished and I'm standing like this, it's kind of inconvenient. Yeah, now I'm really low. How does that feel? It's just sunbathing. That's fine. The book I finished was called Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, uh, Matthew Perry's memoir slash autobiography. Now, I've I've been over why I love autobiographies before. I think there's a lot that we can all learn from them. I think I can learn a whole lot from everyone else. I finished this a while ago, so again, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm not going to go through my bookmarks, but as someone who I guess is not an alcoholic, there was a lot of good perspective in this book about, you know, on, on I, I don't prescribe to this view slash I don't think this way but if you think of the extreme of like bro just stop drinking it's just that easy <laughs> if you have that kind of perspective I think Perry does a good job at talking about addiction uh, with a capital A for people who aren't you know addicts or alcoholics or something there were some notes about spiritual connection in the book um, and it kind of I don't know that kind of rings true for me I mean he had mentioned two maybe three times like the word God but it's not like he emphasized that whole thing but but just what the feeling meant to him in some idea like I have a goal of rising to that level, right? And I think, you know, having that epiphany is, that's powerful. I, and I really got a sense of what that meant to him. You know, it's it's hard to explain those epiphanies. My existential crisis a couple of years ago about whether we live in a simulation, it doesn't matter, blah, 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 the world is as you see it. Like that's kind of, it's hard to say in words and it's, it means something deeper to me that I don't think words can exactly convey. Perry did a good job at using words to convey what he did felt, what he did felt, <laughs> what he felt and how he felt it. And I think another kind of notion that I got from the book was you never want to bring the environment down to your level but you want to rise to the level of your environment so if you're in a low environment do what you can to to get out of it. started watching friends because of reading this book and it's just I don't know it's fascinating to think that Perry would trade all of his fame and money for someone struggling to pay rent who doesn't have this addiction in a heartbeat the whole book is just super potent you know I, I've heard that saying a lot of like oh I would trade anything to be in someone else's shoes who's in some objective measure is like very worse off than me. This whole book explains what that specifically means to him, why he would trade that kind of position. And that is, it just makes the punch get felt, you know, for someone who, you know, my vice is drinking too much caffeine in the average day. And I've done a good job of breaking other vices I've seen as, as toxic to myself. <laughs> There's a lot of deeply personal stuff in here. Um, and I'll, I'll just kind of keep it short. Uh, he doesn't talk much about, he talks a lot about his career, of course, but it's, it's in the context of what his addiction kind of did to him and how it tanked his life largely it's insane <laughs> this is a story about his life it's a reflection on his life as far as i know it wasn't ghost written or anything it's just why I, why i love autobiographies and memoirs especially these ones it's like you can learn all about struggles in the world but people always have their own unique experiences everything means something else to someone sorry i just saw my game design professor from a, two years ago started playing escape simulator very based you gotta learn these stories these reflections on life and that book really hit me hard finished it within the first week i started reading it uh, it did not take me long to read in the sense that i just kept going back to it so yeah that book was heavy and that was the only one i finished this month just to kind of discuss what i'm reading now because i am reading it's just not one book so i haven't finished anything can the wire make it all the way back here that's pretty sick all right i'm reading uh freely determined what the new psychology of the self teaches us about how to live so far it's all right it's you know i'm not too far into it maybe an eighth into it there's a lot in here about growth mindset and positive psychology do not get it confused with positive thinking and i'm definitely very curious to read more it's kind of like the 
don't know, the main, not the main book. I cannot say that any books are the main book, but one of the ones I keep thinking, okay, this should be like option one or two to sit down and read right now. I haven't been reading a lot in the last two weeks, probably. Again, the vibes have been off. I stopped using Z-Quill and immediately my, my mornings came, became better, even though I kept struggling to fall asleep and like, it was weird. It was like, it was a blanket. My recent struggles of free will, I guess. It's kind of funny that this book came up because I was like, all right, cool. Like my dad sent me this book. I don't want to think about, like I had told someone like a day or two before I started that I don't want to think about free will and talk about it. And then what do you know? The first chapter is called determinism. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, but it seems more about psychology and it's kind of like applied free will theory and that free will does exist. Yeah, in short, my opinion on free will is that it doesn't exist because it is defined. You can only break a rule because the rule exists. You only have free will because it doesn't exist. In order to, you know, break outside the box of what your life is determined to be, there has to be a box in the first place. Uh, that's my opinion on free will, and that's the perspective I'm going into this book with. The other main focus book I'm reading, got this recommendation like five times in a week. Pragmatic Programmer. I'm about, I'd say halfway through, a little more than halfway through. I'm a software engineer, if you didn't know. I write code and sit down for a living. Wow, that's actually accurate. There's a lot of good practices in here. Some of it's kind of like, like it's common sense, but specifically applied to designing software. And it's not like how to write good code, how to be a good programmer, but good practices. You could be the best programmer in the world, but if you don't use version control, what are you doing? One of the cool concepts it was talking about is is tracer bullet code. Uh, just to give an example of, of like something I found super useful. Tracer bullet code is effectively you make all the stacks of some sort of program or some sort of project in my case for work, you specifically make a, the most basic functions of that stack. So if you're making a website, you need a database, you need a front end, like a UI and a back end. So, and when you build those minimal things out, yes, thank you for rooming, you very specifically build something that can hit all of those. So for example, you build a login page for your website. A, you have to test the UI. B, you have to test to make sure your login gets routed properly. And C, you have to make sure that user gets stored. You don't want to work on something that's specifically UI focused or specifically backend focused that doesn't touch the database. And so you you build that part of the proto that part of the product first just to make sure you have all layers interacting with each other. So yeah, that's pragmatic programmer. I've got Portuguese short story on Rosetta Stone, the stories feature. I talked about this in my Rosetta Stone versus Duolingo video like two, th three years ago at this point. Good lord, no, four years ago at this point. Those are pretty good. The vocab's basic, you know, it's just practicing reading. It's a lot easier than Japanese. And the book behind it is My Hero Academia Vigilantes. Wow, I thought I was good at this. There we go. Uh, the manga, I haven't, I've been really bad at Japanese this month. I'm slow growing multiple things though. I think, again, the vibes are kind of back on and things are looking in an upward trend, or going at an upward trend. That is Sleepy Pikachu, if you didn't know already. Carlos is vibing. You know, you know the squad. Anyway, sorry, that's right. Some things. Oh wait, what else am I reading? So technically, Steppenwolf's on the list. I'm not gonna bother with letters from a stoic. There's also Be Your Future Self Now. Those three, four books. Again, I haven't been reading much this month, so I should have at, finished at least one other book. Da -da 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 -da. Obviously, I want to finish all these in February, and obviously, again, I probably won't. But one thing I want to do with the reading rambles from now on, because if you, the viewer, would like to get involved in some sort on discussion, I don't know. First of all, join the Discord little banner thingy here that I haven't updated in a while, but the link is accurate. Check the description. You know, in case you want to get involved and talk about it in the Discord, maybe one book I will promise to finish. Obviously, I cannot choose something in Japanese or Portuguese. Nice. The hat hair in the back. We love it. I will go ahead and say that, oh, minimum, I will finish the uh, Freely Determined book. I'm not too much through it. I think that's it's very, you know, it's it's not an easy, easy read, but like it's a very straightforward read. There's no jargon in here. That'll be the one book I finish at minimum. So if you'd like to join, pick up the book, go to your local bookstore to, to grab it. Uh, oh, so just in general, by the way, the slow growth thing, that big book next to Mr. Sleepy Pikachu, it's that's the the built from broken book that I was reading every morning and it just kind of got done. And I really want to get back into that morning reading thing because now that I'm waking up and I actually feel alive when I wake up, I wanted to do that with this book, Muay Thai, the footwork. I also wanted to do it, <laughs> Pragmatic Programmer. I want to do it with every book. But this book is, uh, I got it years ago because I just was like, oh, I want to, you know, just get some theory on a different martial art. But the classes I go to are, they're like, you learn something and there's focus, but it's not like down to basics kind of thing. So think if I read about the theory, work on my defense a bit, yada, yada, that'll help. Um, but obviously you will learn much more if you get in and actually 
um, spar and, and, and work with people uh, dynamically. In my opinion, it's never bad to be thinking of things. I think there's gonna be a point either later this later in February or in March where all of these books are just gonna like, within the same week, <laughs> just finish, but probably not. I, what I should do is focus on one book at a time, but that's boring. Well, not boring, just sometimes you feel like, you know what, I wanna read some of this programming book for 15 minutes to get me in the vibe. Yeah, I'd like to finish books. I don't know which ones, but I'd like to finish some in February. Good Lord, that's what I wrote. Five videos I was gonna work on specifically and only one of them i got to i was supposed to have a to-doist and a typing video out before this one the vibes are back on though slow growthing everything back to my schedule and we'll go from there so yeah thanks for watching i'll stop rambling have a good one and as always don't forget to stay awesome i will see you next month